Hello and welcome back to the lesson 7 of the tutorial series simulating your custom robotic arm in ROS Noetic. In our previous tutorial we had created this uh, or we had configured this URDF file which is generated by SOLIDWORKS. In this tutorial we are going to create a new joint trajectory controller which will control this the joints of the URDF file. But before creating them uh, you need to check whether you have configured your URDF file correctly or not. So you can go to your move it or uh, catkin workspace the SRC folder the robotic arm URDF folder and the URDF folder here you will find the URDF file. So right click in this uh, area and uh, click open in terminal. So it will open the terminal in your uh, URDF folder. So if you see the path here you can see. Now type the command uh, check underscore URDF space you can press tab and it will take the file name type UR and again press tab then press enter. So here you can see uh, it has uh, successfully passed the XML file. It will show the uh, robot link a word has one child. So our word link is successfully added and it has various links like uh, base link link one. So it will show the hierarchy in a uh, like uh, this kind of manner. So here base link has link one a uh, link one has link two as a child link three has a link four as a child link five has link six and seven as a child. So our URDF file is correctly configured and there are no errors. Now close this terminal. Now uh, we need to create a joint trajectory controller which is a YML file uh, which is used to uh, control our robotic arm joints. So uh, this uh, joint trajectory controller will contain the joint trajectory controllers for our robotic arm joints the end effector joints and the controller to publish the uh, states of the robotic arm joints continuously. If you want to know about ROS controllers you can visit this link. So in my robotic arm if you have followed my previous tutorials you may know but uh, the joint 1 to joint 5 of my robotic arm are of the robotic arm and the joint 6 and the joint 7 is the uh, joint for the end effector. Now let's create the uh, joint trajectory controller for our robotic arm. So uh, you can do is open up a terminal. I will take it uh, to this side so you can see the PDF as well. Now uh, go to your uh, move it to workspace. So or your catkin workspace. Then uh, go to its ESRC folder. URDF uh, package name uh, which you have created then uh, the config folder. Once you are having this path press enter. So it will take you to the config folder of your uh, robotic arm package. Now here we need to create a YML file uh, with a, a name. You can name it anything but I will name it as a joint trajectory controller.yml. So here uh, you can do is you can use this touch space joint trajectory uh, joint underscore trajectory underscore controller.yml but uh, I will directly use this uh, gedit uh, command. So what it will do is if the file is av already available it will open that otherwise it will create a new file. Then press enter. So you can see it has created and opened the file. Now um, here I have given the ready to use code but I will explain you it a little bit. So in this file the hash uh, uh, represent the comment. Then here uh, you need to define a name. Uh, you can define any name here. So for my robotic arm joints I will name it as a robot underscore arm underscore controller. Then you need to give the colon. Then you need to go on next line. You need to give two spaces for in, uh, indentation. The type will be the position underscore controller slash joint trajectory controller. So this is the standard like for all the uh, joint controllers it will be same. Then you need to go on through next line. You again need to give two spaces because YML file don't accept the tabs. You need to use two spaces or any uniform spacing schema for giving the uh, indentation. So I prefer to use two spaces. So in joints you need to uh, give the uh, list of all the joints of your robotic arm or that you want to add under this controller. So for my robotic arm I will add join 1 to joint 5 separated by commas. 
next i will go again uh, I, uh, I will remove any indentation i will define the and underscore ee underscore controller and i will give colon so this is the controller for my end effector you can name it anything again i will go on the next line i will go give two spaces then i will give the type as a position underscore controller slash joint trajectory controller and in joints i will pass the joints of my end effector and at the end we need to uh, add a joint state uh, controller which will publish or uh, publish the joint values of the robotic arm so if we will name it you can name it anything but i will name it as a joint underscore state underscore controller and give the type as joint state controller slash joint state controller this is not joint trajectory controller this is joint state controller and the publish rate will be 15 hertz you can do is you can directly copy this code because as this is a pdf if you paste it here you will lose the indentations so what you need to do is you need to keep the comments as it is uh, you can separate them as given here also i will separate these two controllers or all the controllers from each other now what you need to do is uh, the names of your controllers you need to keep them on the same uh, indent level only the type and join tags uh, or the values what you need to do is take your cursor before the type definition and press the space bar two times like one and two same do for the joints one two again uh, the hand end effector controller will remain at the start the type uh, will have two spaces before it and also the joints similarly do it for the uh, joint state controller uh, type and publish rate add two spaces remember that you don't need to use tabs because yml file don't support tab and indentation also matters because this is an indentation sensitive file now save the file and close the window so if you face any issue to create that please follow the notes given here or if you want to use the file you can directly download it from here which will be ready to use now we are done with creating our uh, yml file so if you go to your uh, workspace uh, go to the robotarm package if you open the config folder you will find this uh, joint trajectory controller dot yml file now in our next tutorial we will write a launch file to open the uh, urdf file and this joint trajectory controller and we will open our robotic arm simulation in uh, gazebo so please watch my next tutorial thank you so much for watching this uh, video please hit the like button if you uh, like my work and also share my videos with your friends who also want to learn ROS. and do not forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't yet thank you so much